In this video, we're going to be looking at tariffs, what tariffs are and how to draw them. To start with, let's have a look over on the left hand side here. So if we look at tariffs, we know quite simply that they are a tax on imports. By placing a tax on imports, tariffs will increase the price of imports. By increasing the price of imports, they're going to give an advantage to domestic producers. And in this way, they are a form of protection. Okay, those are the characteristics. Let's have a look now at the tariff diagram. So you can see here, price, quantity, zero, supply, demand, all looking very familiar. When I look at supply here, to focus that this is domestic supply. So the supply within Australia of goods and services. When I look at demand, we also know that this is domestic demand. So how much consumers want of a product. So let's put in equilibrium. So we draw equilibrium coming down roughly like that. So I know here that I've got price equilibrium and I've got quantity equilibrium. Now at this point, PE, I know that demand equals supply. Now because demand is domestic demand and supply is domestic supply, what I've got here is there are no imports. Everything here is satisfied within Australia. But I know that one of the great things about free trade is that it gives us access to cheaper goods and services. So if I focus on this line here, what we're going to do is call this price world. You can see how much lower it is than equilibrium. So this is going to be the world price or even better the free trade price and you can see how much lower it is than if we satisfied everything domestically so let's just draw some points got that one there got this one here and then what I say is that okay that's where price intersects with supply so that will be quantity supplied. Oh, okay, this is where price intersects with demand. So this will be quantity demanded. So we can see here at price world that we've got quantity demanded will exceed quantity supplied. So we have excess demand. Okay, now what are consumers going to do? Well, they are going to fill the gap with imports. So if you see this area here, right? This here is the level of imports under the world price. So this is what consumers will go and get to satisfy their demand. So what's going to happen though, is that the government might look at this situation and say, well, our domestic producers are losing out because everyone's going to get imports. So what if we try and manage this situation? I wouldn't manage it that way. They might manage it this way. So here the government says, okay, so we've got the world price plus the tariff. Here is the price at which the government is setting, which is the world price plus the tax, the tariff. So if we focus on these new points here, can you see that this is the point at the world price, price plus the tariff intersects with supply? This is QS1. Here, this is where the world price intersects with demand. Okay, this is QD1. So then I've got this new area here and this new area here is the imports with the tariff. So let's just take a step back. 
at the imports, sorry, at the price world plus the tariff, we know that still QD1 is greater than quantity supplied. So we have excess demand, right? This excess demand will be filled by imports, but this imports is actually less because of the tariff. Okay, so what we can see here is that we have gone from our equilibrium price one to our world price two to our tariff price three. And that is the basics on what a tariff is and how to draw a tariff.